In eastern Tennessee, there's a little city you might not have heard of, Samaraville. Dolly Parton was born right around here, and just down the road is where she built her own theme park, Dollywood, meaning this place will always put a song in your heart. The Great Smoky Mountains National Park is basically Samaraville's backyard. Hiking, biking, fishing, it's all on the table. So it's no surprise that housing prices have been on the rise. Oh, what is this? Someone is living in a tent and building their own house. That's pretty cool. I'm telling you, people are resourceful around here. But Amy and Stacy say they are up for the challenge of trying to find the perfect fit here in the Appalachians. Look at the Starbucks. Okay, this is adorable. <laughs> this is why you go to the mountains, right? Yeah. yeah. Cider bar. And... I'll always eat. <laughs> I'm Amy. I'm Stacy. And we're looking for our American dream home in Sevierville, Tennessee. Do y'all want to get a cookbook? We'd have to be good at cooking to get a cookbook. <laughs> We've been married 23 years. Hold on. <laughs> I have the dates. No, no, you know so how that. Like no, I. Okay. And we met in college. Uh, we both went to Georgia Tech. We didn't really date in college, but we were friends. Um, and then we had our first job together. That's really when we started dating. So right after college. And at that point, she told me I needed a real job. So that's when I went to law school. Why don't we go pay for this, and then uh, we can go to the cafe and get something to eat. Okay. All right. Great. We're moving from uh, a suburb of Atlanta. You know, because I don't have enough naps. I think. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit too hectic. And so one of our goals is really just to find something a little bit different. So we chose this area um, around the Smoky Mountains, um, mostly because we have four kids. Um, two are now in college, and two are still home with us. And so um, part of this is we want a place for them, and then our, our younger two to want to come home to. And this area is known for so many different activities. You can, you can go hiking and enjoy the nature. You can go out and see shows. Or you can go to theme parks. And a very few mountain towns have all of that available. Yeah, awesome. you get to the point where you just have to bribe them to come <laughs> That's back. That's so true. <laughs> Can't wait to try these slushies. All right, gang. Apples up to your eyeballs. I mean, everyone th says American Dream is is a house, and I think that's traditionally been it. But I think it's more, it's more like the belief that hard work pays off. I mean, half my family are immigrants, so yeah. I've seen it firsthand. Um, and I think you know it, it's totally achievable. That's really good. Yeah. This is really good. These are good. Yeah. All right. So, what do you think of the mountains? It's really so, pretty. Isn't it beautiful here? Mm -hmm. um, we weren't comfortable by any means, but we started investing about 10 years ago with a tiny little fixer-upper near our home in Atlanta, Georgia. Mm -hmm. And I thought, let's let's turn this into something better. Yeah, and she's like, oh yeah, we'll put the money down on this house and then we'll sell it for a profit. And I'm like, wait, well, hold on, let's see. And I think he was just scared that, you know, it might end like in, in a bad way like it does for some people. So um, just getting ourselves on, on board together was, was a challenge back then. I was then. scared. I'm just, <laughs> I am aware of the reality. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that's fair. Go. That's yeah. fair. And I would say, I mean, that's really what set us up for, you know, future success in real estate. I mean, we're just getting to that next phase of trying to make sure that we slow down enough to enjoy what we've built up. We're excited to be able to to get a dream house while y'all are still at home and can enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be like fun for vacations. Yeah, we could have all the cousins over, and you can be in charge. I do not want to be in charge. <laughs> no. I'm an attorney. I work in various like corporate and uh, transactional and litigation matters. I am a broker for a real estate company in Atlanta. I run a small team, and we do commercial investment and residential real estate. It's very convenient to have a wife as a realtor, because then I can just sit back and um, be the trophy husband that I am. <laughs> but you were saying market's a little bit tight now, though, right? So it, we have to be ready to go. It is. I've seen some pretty ones, and they've gone quickly. So if we find the one we want, we need to be really ready to act right away. So we're really hoping to stay around 1.5. Interest rates are still so great right now, so your money really goes a lot further. But of course, with the way interest rates are now, that also means that the prices have gone up. So it's like now or never. We're not getting any younger. Our kids aren't getting any younger, and it's something to just go ahead and, and take the leap. Ditto. <laughs> All 
All right, so what are we looking at now? This is the house that um, backs up to the National Park. Yeah, all I know is it's probably high up, and I might need you to get out and push this thing up the hill. <laughs> I know, I can feel my ears popping as we go up. So I think it's this one up here with the sign. You sure? You're never good at directions. True, but I think I remember this from the photo. Okay. Yep, that's it. Wow. Gosh, that house looks so much bigger than the pictures. Wow, this is pretty cool. This is beautiful. This is the park, right? Yeah, this is the park right there. That's pretty awesome. Look at this porch. I wonder what this is for. Probably a Norse drinking hall or something. <laughs> yeah, it does for look you. like you could you could line some tables up here and yeah, have a great cool. party. Well, let's see what inside looks like. Yeah, but see, the deck's huge though. Yeah, it looks like it wraps all the way around. Yeah. All right. Wow, look at this room. Yeah, this is it right here. Yes. This is... Windows everywhere. It's like the outside is in. I love it. Yeah, yeah, and the fireplace is great. So the kitchen's not open to the great room, but, yeah, but it's the... really pretty. Look at these cabinets. I know, what, what kind of wood is this? It looks like bark from the trees outside, and it's that on everything. Look, even these built-ins right here. Yeah. I love the style of the kitchen. I, I wish it was open to the family room over there, but I just think this is a really tiny spot to gather, to eat. That really only fits about eight people, and we have six bedrooms. <laughs> I'm hoping yeah. to have more people here than that. But so, there's a little cubby hole here. You could probably put a lot of people in here too. That's true. All right, Let's what else is here. on this level? Wow, look at this room. This has to be the master, right? Yeah, with these huge ceilings. Plenty of space. And over there's the bathroom. This is great. The view just keeps going right yeah, here. It does, and look at that big deck, hammocks. Plenty of room for you over there. Oh yeah, I'll <laughs> just spread out. Spread out. And I can go from one nap to another. Yes, definitely a place of relaxation. Yes, <laughs> so, Let's take a look upstairs. Okay. Look at this cute bedroom. This is pretty neat. I think the kids would like to stay here, especially with this day bed and kind of like the sloping roof. Yeah. Oh, and there's a little nook, the reading nook, and its own bathroom. Oh, that's pretty neat. And then what is this room? Oh, wow. This is almost like another master. I like seen. that you have like the, the private yeah. uh, deck here. I really like the second floor. It basically has everything a family needs. <laughs> yep. Well, let's keep going. Okay.